you're using multiple video sources on your live streams and you wanna be able to switch between them live, so it could be multiple camera angles, could be screen shares, gaming streams, you name it, then you need a little box like this one and it could make your life a whole lot easier. In this video, we're talking multicam live stream video switches and how you can use them to level up your live streams and a review of this one right here, the Elgato Stream Deck. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. If you've been doing any multi-camera live streams or live streams where you've needed to switch between multiple video streams, like screen shares, video content, chat windows, or gaming streams, you've probably noticed how frustrating it can be bringing up the right video at the right time live. Fortunately though, there are tools out there that can make your life much easier, literally with the press of a button. We're talking about video switches and they allow you to map all your different video sources to buttons on a keypad so that you can easily switch between different cameras and video streams on the fly. And they work across pretty much all the major streaming platforms like Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, and across most of the major streaming software platforms as well. So Wirecast, OBS, vMix, you name it. So we're gonna run through how they work and a review of probably my current favorite all-rounder, the Elgato Stream Deck, to help you figure out which is the right switcher for your streams. And while you're watching, make sure you let us know in the comments down below what your favorite live streaming tool is. We always get a ton of awesome suggestions down there, so make sure to take a look at what the rest of the Primal Video community is using as well. The Elgato Stream Deck gives you 15 customizable buttons. It works on both Mac and PC and it just connects to your computer using a USB 2 cable. In the box you get obviously the Stream Deck, you also get a user manual and you also get an adjustable height stand as well. But the most important part here is those 15 programmable buttons or keys. Now each one of those has an LCD screen so that you can actually adjust and customize what each of the buttons looks like. So you can use either some of the built-in icons or you can upload your own image to use as well. Looking at the build quality of the unit itself, everything is really high quality. The buttons feel great to press, they are tactile and responsive. Considering that they've crammed 15 buttons onto such a small device, the layout and how they've done this, the size and the positioning of the buttons, they've really nailed it because it doesn't feel like that there's any chance of you accidentally hitting the wrong button here. The buttons are just the right size to easily hit just the button that you want and not accidentally knock one of the other buttons, especially while you're live. Now the software that comes with it or the software that you use to control everything is absolutely amazing and it makes everything so simple. You get direct integration for game capture, for things like OBS, for Twitter, for Twitch, and you can easily create your own customizations or hotkeys as well. So to set up and configure the Stream Deck, all you need to do is to download the software from the Elgato website, install it on either your Mac or PC, plug in the unit, and you can start customizing up the buttons straight away. In the app, they've got built-in support straight out of the box for a lot of the major live streaming platforms and things like Twitter as well, where you can just drag and drop the presets or the macros directly onto the key that you'd like to assign it to. So it's really, really simple to set up. Now, if you're after more control or you wanna use this with apps that maybe aren't supported 100% straight out of the box, things like Wirecast, then you can still use these. You just set up the keyboard shortcuts using the hotkeys section. Wirecast is one of the major live streaming platforms that currently isn't supported 100% out of the box, but we've been able to set it up and get it working seamlessly just using the hotkeys. So then you're able to get all the same control that you would have over OBS, which is built in on Wirecast as well. So you can switch your scenes, you can switch your camera angles, you can do a whole heap of stuff while you're live, literally with the press of a button. So what I really like about the Stream Deck is how fast and easy it is to set up and use. You can literally plug this in and within five minutes you can start customizing everything up and creating everything ready for your live streams. I also think the software interface is awesome and that literally all you're doing is dragging and dropping a lot of the presets on to have them mapped to your buttons. But also the fact that you can program your own macros or your own shortcut keys and map those to buttons as well really opens this up to not just live streaming and other platforms Forms like Wirecast, like we mentioned, but also for things like video editing or really anything else that you could do on your computer using shortcut keys, you could map to buttons on this device. And that is really, really powerful. 
I also really like that there is zero lag or zero delay between pressing a button and having that action happen, which is really, really important, especially if you're live. The biggest weakness with the Stream Deck, in my opinion, which really isn't a weakness, I'm kind of stretching here, is that it doesn't have Wirecast presets built in and the ability to drag and drop with Wirecast like you can with OBS, but it's really not a deal breaker because it's so easy to set up and have the exact same functionality as you do with OBS with Wirecast as well. So it would be nice to have it out of the box and I'm sure at some point they'll have that integration in their software as well, but it's really not hard to set up and it still works exactly the same. You can currently pick up the Stream Deck on Amazon for just under the $150 price point. So at that price point, it makes it by far the cheapest, most powerful video switcher that is around. Normally you'd be spending at least double or triple that on a professional switcher, which really will give you almost the same functionality while you're live. So I think at that price point, if you're serious about your live streams and you want the easiest ways to switch between multiple streams, multiple camera angles, or even to do things like automatically send out tweets once something happens, to really get full control over your live streams, then there really is nothing else that compares to this. So now that you've got your live stream switcher sorted, you could also find improvements in your live stream by making sure you're using the right software for your stream and for your workflow. So check out our comparison linked on screen now of OBS versus Wirecast versus XSplit to help you decide if you're using the best live streaming software for your types of live streams. I'll see you soon.